forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. Okay, the NBA made some changes to the NBA All-Star Game format that pretty much nobody really understand the game itself. But they also changed the name of the MVP award to the Kobe Bryant MVP award for the All-Star Game MVP. Let's talk about that in DeMarcus Cousins. We back. Good for Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, yeah, I think that's a nice gesture. You know, they're trying to do everything they can to honor Kobe in the correct way. They haven't cho- changed the logo yet. Some people believe that may be too far, but I'm still trying to wor- wonder why Jerry West is the logo, especially with the finals record he had. He was a good player, but he's far from the most impactful player um, in the NBA, but he's a hell of an executive, and you know what I'm saying? He's done some good things in the game, but you know, in the history of the NBA, with all the, the best players, for the, the majority of the best players have been black at its most prominent time, especially with Magic and, 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 and Mary Bird, who's Caucasian, who took the lead to, to the next level, even if the, the logo was Magic and Bird, because before Magic and Bird, the NBA uh, Finals was on tape delay. And then Jordan took the lead to another level um, internationally. And then now you are where you are today, and LeBron has kept it afloat and doing some really, really great things. But um, I think that's a nice gesture to do that for Kobe, man. Um, you know, I think they got Kobe jerseys for the All-Star game. And you know what? They did right for him. They honored David Stearns, too, which I didn't have much love for. But, you know, as a businessman, he did what he had to do for the betterment of the NBA. But I think that was a cool thing to do for Kobe to make him the MVP. Now, the logo may be going too far. I think the logo may should be Larry and Bird. I mean, Larry Bird and Magic, at least. That would be a nice change. But the logo is so iconic, and some people are so stuck um, in, you know, what it, you know, traditional thing. So I don't really care if they change it or not um, because the logo is hella cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying all these brothers came in the league and some of the best ball players ever and some of the most the most trailblazing guy, the guys that trailblaze for the league, you know, were black for the most part. So, you know, just trying to wonder why the logo is still of a white man. But, you know, I get it. It's traditional. It's cool. And um, I got things that I, I, I refuse to change or forget, refuse to give up. You know, and that's just my personal opinion, but I can understand it from that point of view. But that's sweet. You know, uh, they named the MVP award after an all-star game. And um, you got to have some honor. You know, I'm surprised it wasn't already named after somebody else. You know, they named everything after somebody else already, but in most sports. So salute to Kobe. Now, there is a chance that DeMarcus Cousins uh, can be healthy by the all-star game break. Now, I don't, ha- I don't know exactly what happened with the situation. He had a situation with his baby mama before his, with, his, with his wedding going on, his son attending. I don't know if they handled that behind the scenes. But the PR was been, been swept under the rug. His team has done a great job of keeping that on a low-key tip. He was signed to the Lakers this offseason. And um, he, I think he blew, his, blew something off the Achilles or the ACL out again, or whatever it was. But personally, if I'm him, I'm not, I'm not coming back. You know, it's, if I'm Frank Vogel, and I'll link all this in the description, in the article, you just hit the drop-down box to touch the title. If I'm Frank Vogel, I'm not, I'm not, I don't need him. You know, with Javel and McGee Dwight Howard, you know, doing the job, you know, I'll tell him to get healthy and be 100%. And DeMarcus Cousins shouldn't want to rush out there. You know, just be healthy, no matter if it's, it's, it's not as major as the first time and you've been through it before and you know how to heal it, you know, this, that, and the third, but you still went out there last time and rushed it to try to prove a point. DeMarcus Cousins got to let his knee completely heal. You know what I'm saying? Like, he needs to take the, probably the, the off season off too and rehab and make sure that knee is thorough. Because if it go again, then it's over with. So, you know, him te- not taking that Pelicans contract look worse and worse every day. You know, for him, he need to heal. He need to rest. He don't need to play in the playoffs. And also, knock out the, the Lakers' rhythm. They got an excellent rhythm going amongst their big men. You know, can he stretch it out and shoot the three and do some things that Dwight and JaVale McKee can't do? Yes, but they can do some things that Cousins uh, can't do as well. And that's the fan and, and be really, really rangy and they have a rapport with Anthony Davis and Rondo and LeBron and Danny Green and Avery Bradley. They have that going right now. DeMarcus Cousins doesn't. No matter how much he practices, no matter how, how much they, you know, shoot in the gym and how much camaraderie they got in the locker room, I would not bring him back uh, from a camaraderie standpoint of view and from a physical health standpoint of view. If I'm 
Frank Vogel and the Lakers, and if I'm DeMarcus Cousins and his reps, not bringing him back until he's 100% healthy, suited and booted, ready to go. And hopefully he can get back to form and he can get his pesos out there and stack them all the way to the sky and try to then win some basketball games and retire a legend. But, yeah, I wouldn't be playing them. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about them naming the uh, MVP award after Kobe and them trying to get DeMarcus Cousins uh, to play by the playoffs. Good good idea or bad idea? I say bad after, especially what happened with the Warriors. But, hey, good fellow sports TV. Check out our NBA playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email as well. All the information is in the description. One time for the one time. We go.